Uh, Kim Rivers, I'm CEO and co-founder of True Leaf Cannabis Corp. Uh, we're the leading medical cannabis provider in the state of Florida, as well as providing services in many additional markets. So True Leaf's business is founded on providing the highest level of customer branded um, cannabis products in the U.S. Uh, we started our journey in the state of Florida, right here in Leon County. We are proud, proud, proud native Floridians as a team and are just uh, so thrilled that we were able to start and lead um, the Florida Medical Marijuana Program right here from our home county of Leon. You know, this is one of those statistics that's just unbelievable to, to take a breath and sit, sit back and reflect on. Um, you know, we started this business, as I mentioned, in 2015 with 10 employees. Um, you know, I was uh, I was one of the folks who not only was I in the back, you know, making capsules, I was also, um, you know, my office was in a, a conference room in our growth facility. Um, and now we have just uh, just approximately 4,000 employees, which is just unbelievable, like I said, to, to think about how far we've come in such a short period of time. Um, you know, we have chose, and I'm very proud of this decision early on, that we were going to, you know, plant our flag here in the greater Big Bend area, and specifically in Gadsden County, which is a majority minority community. And that's been really important as we not only, you know, talk the talk, but walk the walk. And as a female CEO, of course, diversity and inclusion initiatives are near and dear to my heart. And being able to be in a position to actually, you know, implement change um, in a real way has been incredibly rewarding. And so when I look across our organization today, we have about 40 percent um, minority employment. And what's I think even more important than that in some in some respects is that we not only measure minority employment, you know, globally, right? Um, but we also measure it across all levels of employment. And so um, when you look, for example, um, amongst my executive team, when you look at members of our management team, um, we're way above average in terms of our um, our diversity metrics. And again, making that commitment early. And I, I always say, you know, truly is known as a market leader and an industry leader in our ability to not only um, reinvest dollars into our business, but making sure that we're creating sustainable employment careers for our employees. And in doing so, um, I say, you know, we're profitable because of our inclusion, not in spite of. It's never been an afterthought. It's been purposeful and intentional. And um, it's just been such a empowering um, you know, posture to be able to go to these investment conferences or get on these panels, right, and, and talk about diversity and inclusion and actually being able to point to not only the numbers from an employment perspective, but the opportunities, the lives we're changing, and then also our financial metrics. Um, because really, at the end of the day, you know, um, just like any other business, we're results driven. And I'm just very proud of what we've been able to accomplish and the fact that we can be a leader in that area.